All right, good afternoon, Colleen. How are you today? Good. Good, good. All right. So you and I have been chatting about some of these HR positions that you have recently applied to. And I'm really excited to now learn a little bit more about your background and your experience. So tell me what you've been doing most recently um, as a talent compass senior specialist. What, what does that mean? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so my most recent position, which I did start uh, in January at RSM, um, is a Talent Compass Senior Specialist. Uh, so with that position, there's two main components. Um, the first is new hire orientation and presenting that each week. Uh, we do have a rotating schedule, but our team is very small, so the rotation isn't always, you know, super long. But um, And then the other component of that is we will be opening an HR help desk. Um, and uh, that has not opened at this time, but we would be like the tier uh, one support for the HR help desk. So answering any questions from, you know, benefits, uh, compensation, performance reviews, things like that. Okay, great. Now, before that, you were working at FM Generator. Tell me a little bit about that position as a HR associate. Yeah, so um, starting at FM Generator, I started in 2020. Um, so I was first an HR assistant. Um, so I was assisting an HR coordinator at the time. Uh, so I would do anything from uh, screening resumes, passing them on um, to my manager so she could conduct phone screens, taking phone screen notes for her, kind of sitting in and shadowing on the calls. Um, I would also assist with benefits, new hire orientation, um, just like COVID mask, um, ensuring that people are following policies and procedures, helping out with a handbook, um, making any suggestions with that. Um, payroll assistance, making sure time cards are being completed um, and updated in the system. Um, and then after that, I was uh, promoted to an HR associate. And at that time, it was just a colleague and I, and we reported directly uh, to the president of the company. And then just right. taking on um, more uh, higher level projects, which included uh, facilitating the annual open enrollment process, uh, full cycle recruiting efforts from, you know, uh, creating and uh, posting job ads all the way to um, sending out offer letters to candidates. Great. Um, again, more COVID vaccination. Um, we had like a policy where we would pay some of our field employees if they missed work due, due to testing positive for COVID. So kind of facilitating and managing that experience. Uh, again, a payroll support um, and any other uh, duties okay. that were needed. Tell me a little bit about some of the software experience that you have aside from like a Microsoft Office suite, like maybe some more HR HRIS focused software or ADP or anything like that. Tell me what you've worked with in the past. Um, yeah, so when I was working at uh, FM Generator, we were a small business. So I will say in full transparency, we didn't have a lot of uh, software beyond like Microsoft products, Google Suite products, things like that, um, just due to our resources. Um, but I did use Paylofty, which was our HRIS. A lot of our transactions were done there. Um, now here at RSM, um, we do use PeopleSoft, Cornerstone, ServiceNow, um, and they are planning to implement Workday in the future as well. Fantastic. That's great. Colleen, when you think about what's most important to you about the next company that you work for, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Um, definitely uh, culture is very important. Uh, a company that wants to see you grow, but is also, um, you know, flexible in the way that they want to provide a nice work-life balance for you. Um, right. And yeah. All right. That sounds great. Colleen, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording portion of this interview and then chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good. Yeah, perfect. 